Welcome back everybody to Twitter National News, unbiasing news sites everywhere and solving crime before dinner time. My name is Jackson. I'm David. And our first article comes from a website. Delivery robot bursts into flames at Ook Berkeley. Describing the robot as a hero and a legend, Ook Berkeley students expressed their grief on Facebook as news of a fallen Kiwi bot reached the campus community. Apparently a Kiwi bot is a robot that would deliver food to residents on campus or other people throughout the city. The article shows a picture of the person who put out the fire, but did not mention them by name because the robot's the hero. This is tantamount to when you have a fire in your house and firefighters come to put it out and you just think, wow, my house is so brave. I should hold a memorial for it. Moving on, burnout. Stress leads lead more companies to try a four day work week. Stress is not plural, Emma Thompson. Tom Thomason. Work four days a week, but get paid for five? It sounds too good to be true, but companies around the world that have cut their work week have found that it leads to higher productivity, more motivated staff, and less burnout. You should ask my friend Steven. He takes Thursdays off, and he's... He's okay. It's kind of like when you're a kid and you go to school for six, seven, eight hours a day, and you tolerate it, but you complain a lot, and then you go to college, and you have one to two hour school days, and... It's somehow worse. That was a bad analogy, let's move on. Chicago Blackhawks mascot Tommy Hawk fights fan in viral video. A video went viral of Chicago Blackhawks mascot Tommy Hawk fighting with a fan at the United Center on Friday night. I thought Tommy Hawk was a skateboarder. What's pretty cool is that they actually have a video, and we'll, we'll throw it up on the screen behind us, of what appears to be a preview sneak peek for the Five Nights at Freddy's movie. Moving on, shop the apocalypse. Safety orange jumpsuits, face masks, tactical vests, so-called war core clothing is hot during these anxious times. Uh, apparently there's been a lot of dystopian apparel on the men's wear runways this year, and even one of the men, Raph Simmons, the creative director at one of his shows, dressed the male models in safety cone orange jumpsuits, knee-high waders, and knit baklavas, all of which gave new meaning to the term fashion emergency. So for all of you Fallout West Virginia fans, here's your first cosplay. Bye. Here we go. <laughs> Do you have the giggles? <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> I gotta leave in like 30 minutes, man. I know. So you can like get it together or not. Bad. There was a lot of good at the beginning. Ah! Did you almost knock a light down? Yes. 